Hello everybody, my name is Abdel and in this video I'm trying to make a uh, create an answer file for an automated installation of Windows 8 Pro 32-bit version. Um, this pretty much can work for all versions of Windows 8, which is regular Windows 8, Windows 8 Pro, Windows uh, 8, Media Center, Windows 8, Enterprise. And uh, for both architectures, 32-bit and 64-bit. Okay, so we need uh, to know the files that are necessary for this process and they are these ones right here. Uh, first of all we need an ISO image of Windows 8 Pro 32 bit and we need to extract it somewhere on our uh, computer and then we need a valid key for Windows 8 Pro or a trial if you can get one I don't know if that's possible and we you need to download wake a short word for Windows automated installation kit you need to download that and install it of course on your computer and of course the last thing is a blank DVD where we can burn our modified Windows 8 Pro with the auto, auto installation uh, answer file so that's pretty much everything we need and then uh, yes, after we install Wake, we need to fire up this guy right here. We, you, you're going to go to Start All Programs and then uh, right click on Windows System Image Manager, right click on it and run as administrator. After, after you, it starts, you're going to see a window just like this one right here okay and then we go to this little image right here and we right click somewhere and we choose the first option that we have the available the only one available select uh, that and then we go to where we extracted our ISO image of Windows 8 and we look for a folder called sources and then uh, install that WIM we select that file and we hit open and then in my case my ISO image included two versions of Windows 8 which is a regular Windows 8 and also Windows 8 Pro I'm gonna choose the one that I want which is Windows 8 Pro and uh, highlight it and hit OK it's gonna load this uh, files right here uh, and then uh, for the first time it's gonna take a while if we, when you do it for the first time it's gonna take around five six seven or even eight minutes it depends you just have to wait and be patient about it until it loads this component right here okay and once loaded we are gonna move to the middle of the window we right click somewhere and we hit the first option which is new answer file it's gonna load this component right here now we are ready to uh, start adding our packages in our uh, answer file okay we're gonna let me grab this and expand this too we're gonna expand this component thing because we are interested in 82 uh, i mean 32 um, bit we're gonna skip all this amd 64 all of them all of them and also was 64 we're gonna escape them we, we need only the x86 one second to see who's calling okay back again and uh, yes we we gonna uh, add the packages we need the first one will be called x86 uh, Microsoft Windows International Core Wimpy this one right here where I click on it and we add add it to the because we have one option here as setting to pass one Windows PE here it is added and again we do that for setup neutral x86 Microsoft Windows setup neutral right here regular setup not okay not the bottom one but this one right here right click and add it to the only available option here it is added the next one is x86 Microsoft Windows uh, shell setup this one right here we are gonna right click on it and we add it in the four number four as setting to pass for specialized here it's added on the same one again shell setup we're gonna right click on it and add it to number seven as setting to pass seven OB system that's everything we need to add now we're done with adding packages 
let me push this bar to the left so we can have more space to see the details yes that's very good now we're gonna uh, highlight the first one we're gonna highlight the first uh, the first package and on the right side under sitting we're gonna enter the language en dash us capital en lowercase dash us capital and we're gonna skip the first the second box the third one the same we're gonna write en i mean the same language details that we we need and the same thing we skip this one and the last one user local we're gonna write the same thing we we'll highlight setup ui language now in here we're gonna do the same thing en dash us and leave everything as it as it is now we're gonna go to highlight this one right here and we're gonna go to this configuration right click on it and choose insert new disk expand that and go to create partitions right click on it and choose insert new create partition go to modify partitions right click on it and choose insert new modify partition that is very good okay and uh, we go to disk disk id is zero highlight disk and go to disk id we put there zero we'll wipe disk that's with true will be true create partition nothing but the bottom one is extend yes it is extended true order is number one size keep it empty so we can take all the size of the hard drive and the type it has to be primary here we go to modify partition the bottom one and it is an active partition of course because it contains the system extend we don't have to deal to deal with this again because we already did format it got, it gotta be ntfs format and then label it as OS operating system later just keep it empty order one partition ID one type keep it empty that's very good now we're gonna move to install image or image install I'm sorry expand that nice we're gonna right click on it right click on install from and we're gonna uh, choose insert new metadata so um, install to available partition we're gonna may, uh, choose their false and here we'll show user interface only on error install from we don't have to specify the path credentials that don't worry about it go to metadata here you're gonna write this image for example name and value is windows 8 pro and then install to disk id number zero partition number one okay ah what it is okay nice uh, one thing here is the user data we're gonna go there accept the user end user license agreement true keep everything empty product key now here you're gonna need to write your your license key your license your key of the windows 8 pro that we you are using and i'm gonna make this option first before passing my my key so it will show me an error if it if it happened otherwise it's just the installation will go through fine uh let me get my key so i can write it there and nobody can steal it from me let me hide this so youtubers can never copy this key nice okay my key is hidden now we don't need this now everything is done the next thing is we need to go right here okay uh, on that one computer name is very important let's pull back that one already I'm gonna na name my computer as computer and that's it an OEM name I'm gonna write my name Abdel R okay that's good we're gonna need this auto logon that's what we need okay uh, 
enabled we're gonna choose true log on count five username is Abdel my name my name for username the password I'm gonna write password simple as that and that's it okay nothing else we need in here we're gonna move to this one right here we highlight it we go to the right side we go straight to registered organization I'm gonna write my name Abdel R registered owner Abdel R and uh, time zone there is so many time zones it depends on where you are in this world from mine for example it's Pacific Standard Time Pacific Standard Time nice um, mm, 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 mm. okay let's move to OEM information logo uh, if you wanna pass the logo for example the one I'm gonna pass Windows C Windows system 32 it has to be named OEM logo BMP and the size has to be has to be a 120 pixel 120 or 160 I'm not sure and manufacturer my name model um, Windows 8 Pro hours I don't know what this let's just write anything hours of support from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m. and from Monday to Friday yeah and the phone my phone number is 1-800-800-4-X's uh, you can call me on this number to get the support URL <laughs> yes and again go to o OBE accept hide them in the EULA page hide local account screen yes hide OEM registration yes hide this one too wireless I can stand it hide it and the network you can choose whatever you are home or work I'm gonna choose work for example protect your PC number one that's it and now we're gonna you go to user account and we'll go straight to a local account right click on it and choose insert new local account on that one local account description I'm gonna write this is an admin user of the first account yes display name is Abdel group admin administrators group and the name is Abdel right password password yes perfect now visual effects I'm gonna choose and the system default back I'm gonna choose 17 for a, a light blue color that I like there is so many codes for different colors I don't remember them I just remember my 17 windows features uh, show Internet Explorer true. Show Media Center true. Skip the, the third one and go show me Windows Media Player true. That's pretty much everything. Our answer file is done. Now we need to delete the ones that we did not use, which means the ones that are uh, light blue color. So mm -hmm. highlight them and delete. Delete. Delete, delete. Delete. nice now uh, we deleted all the other things that we did not need now we need to do one last thing which is uh, validating our answer file we go to tools and we hit validate answer file 
now it's validated no warnings or errors everything is good the last thing we need to do is save this answer file we go to file and hit save okay um, we're gonna save it under with this name auto auto and attend yes automatically it's gonna pick up the extension XML so yes just save it okay once it is saved we need to do one last thing which is inject which is inject that uh, answer file in our um, uh, ISO image of Windows 8 Pro that we used originally so we're gonna open that we go to um, that thing to that image and we open it Windows 8 Pro we open it and we I use Ultra ISO to manage my ISO files so you can use your software of choice and to do that so you open the original ISO it has nothing here no uh, auto unattend file you simply add that add file go to desktop because we save it on desktop right here it's added here it is added just to the root of the DVD and then we save our image save at please confirm final naming what are you talking about you go to save as on the desktop and I'm gonna name it Windows 8 Pro and attend it nice okay. after it's saved one last thing you need to do is just to burn this image on a DVD so you can install it on a computer or whatever you wanna do and that's pretty much everything in our video and uh, I'm once again my name is Abdel and I'm glad I been able to help someone there with this uh, answer file and thank you for watching and good night everybody